Watch all the football you want tonight and tomorrow, but not on Sunday. Hi, everybody. This is Short Shots, and this is my feeling, along with many others, especially in clubs in the American Legion, not necessarily this channel. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, a day and night of college football, and where one win or one loss is critical between the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. In the NFL, Super Bowl champions can have as many as seven losses. So a win or a loss is not that big of a deal. And it's not a big deal if you don't watch NFL football for one lousy Sunday. And speaking for myself and all other veterans across our nation, and for all who are sick and tired of kneeling, sitting, and protesting before NFL games during the anthem, Sunday is our day to boycott against the NFL. It is what it is. Football is number one. College football, not the NFL. Let's review the week. It was a perfecto for me. Hazel won, Army won, and Notre Dame won. Even the Redskins won, mother of God. That does not happen often. Hazel and Area defeated Williamsport 2027 for their first playoff win in a decade. Adrian Otero blocked the last extra point in the final minute of the game and corralled the ball on the ensuing onside kick. Sparky Woke threw for 225 yards and three scores, one each to Otero, uh, Davey Smith, and Damon Horton. It was a huge win for the Cougars, who bettered their record to 7-4. Only eight points away from a 9-2. Marion Catholic took it on the chin from undefeated Williams Valley, 56-21. Penn State lost on a game-ending field goal. Number three, Notre Dame won. And, uh, and in the star STAR category, Iowa killed Ohio State, 55-26. Army shut out Air Force 21-0 in Colorado Springs without attempting a single pass the first time Air Force was shut out in 25 years. And in high school playoffs, the Dallas Mountaineers were shut out by the Coughlin Crusader 20-0 after Dallas beat Coughlin in the regular season 54-7. STR means strange things are happening. What else? Marion Catholic senior Tina Caparell won the girls' Class A cross-country state championship last Saturday morning. She is the very first Schuylkill League girl to ever win a cross-country state championship with her four state medals, two league titles, and four district goals. Tina Caprell has completed one of the most successful careers in Schuylkill League history. That's great local news, but this is not. Roy Halladay, a future Hall of Fame pitcher, was killed in his private plane off the coast of Florida this week. Two Cy Young Awards, 203 wins, a perfect, a perfect game, a playoff no-hitter. Doc Holliday of the Blue Jays and the Phillies was the greatest pitcher of his generation. He was 40 years old. Be a good sport, and uh, have a good weekend. Stay loose.